It's great to be with you again, y'all. We're in week three, and this week we're looking at the roles and the responsibilities that God has given to each of us. You know, when we're young, we don't have a care in the world because we mind the adults that are around us, whether we're a student, whatever it is we have going on, we simply do what other people tell us. And yet as we grow, God expects us to mature and take on more responsibilities, and not just willingly, but even eagerly. When we stop to think about the many hats that we wear, the roles that we fill, if we're honest, it can be a little bit overwhelming. We're parents, we're spouses, employees, friends, aunts, uncles, and grandparents, just to name a few of the roles that we fill. And y'all, we want to fill each and every one of those roles well, glorifying God in the end because that is the chief end of humans. I'll never forget, not long after I had given my life to Christ, a co-worker coming to me. She'd found out that I was a Christian and she wanted some guidance. She wanted some counsel and she wanted me to pray for her. I knew that I was not capable in and of myself of being able to offer that godly counsel and advice. So early on, I discovered this verse from Psalm 119, 105, and you probably are very familiar. David is the writer, and he simply says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. You know, God lights our path so that then we can help to illumine the path of other people. I want you to consider for just a moment the different scenarios and the number of people who might seek us out, say in a month's time, for help and for guidance. We want to be prepared so that we can speak on God's behalf to help those people in every single one of those different circumstances. So those scriptures that you've taken in, that you've meditated on, that you prayed over, you'll be able to share with others at very crucial times in their lives. So I want to encourage you, as we do on so many occasions here at Poplar Springs, to read a very small portion of Scripture every single day and ask God to help you to live it, to behave according to what you've read, to flesh it out, if you will. And as you do, then you will be in a position to bless others out of that abundance of knowledge, no matter which hat you're wearing or which role you will fill. God bless you in that endeavor.